Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a requested video and it is my updated hygiene routine. If you guys have been watching me for years, you know I am all about that body care. I love shower gels, body lotions, all of the above. Like I am such a like neat freak and clean freak. I love, love, love buying body washes and lotions and things that smell good and perfumes. I'm a perfume hoarder. Finally, I feel like I have things down packed after trying out so many different types of products. I'm still always on the hunt for like better and better products. For this video, I actually got to partner up with an app and you're thinking, okay Rose, what does this app have to do with hygiene? And it's actually a period tracker. I feel like some people make it so weird to talk about your period or like vaginal health or vaginal cleanliness and things like that but honestly I don't really feel that we are talking about it to you guys because you guys are like my really close friends and I was able to work with this app called Clue and I'm gonna show it to you it's right over here and when you tap it it's basically a period tracker I obviously tested the app before talking about this I've been entering my data for about two months now. Sorry about the reflection of the ring light, but what I love most about this app is that it doesn't look like your typical period tracking app. I tried some where it like yells out like your next period is in five days. If I'm trying to see when my next period is or when I'm fertile or just like enter some data, I don't want it to be just screaming out when my next period is because I don't think everyone should know that. I think it's something personal obviously, but I'm sharing this with you guys because I find this app very, very, very useful, and although we all dread that time, I feel like this app kind of makes it a little bit cooler just because of the interface. It's shaped like a circle, so it's like the cycle, and it tells you when your next period is, it tells you when your fertile window is. This is about to be a little TMI, but I personally don't get cramps, and I'm very blessed to not get cramps, but I do get major mood swings and hormonal changes on my fertile window, so for me it's very important to know when my fertile window is gonna be so I can like warn everyone around me. So basically you enter, you know, when you get your period, when your period ends, but not only that, it actually lets you track how much you're bleeding, the pain, emotions, sleep, sex, energy, digestion, stool, skin, fluid, cravings, hair, temperature, weight, emotions, mental, motivation, social, just everything, like exercise, if you've had any medication, if you're on the patch, if you're on the pill, like when you're on it, when you're off of it. So I love that it tracks literally everything because then you can really assess, you know, what goes on with your body. This app is not only beneficial to those who are just trying to track their period like me and like my mood swings and my emotions and things like that, but it's also really useful for someone who is trying to get pregnant um, because you can track like the fertile window and you can like just kind of enter all the data. So I really think this app is cool. Again, I love the interface. Like I love that it doesn't look like a period app, if that makes any sense. It actually like averages things out. And I love that you can check the history because you can see like, okay, on my fertile window last month, I was very sad. But this time, I'm very angry. So I just like being able to check and track myself. Another really, really, really neat thing is that they have this section which is called Cycle Science. And it basically explains to you everything. If you tap on Fertile Window, it explains to you what's happening with your body. Like, I'm talking about an in-depth description of like the science behind your emotions and it just really explains to you what's going on with your body whether you're PMSing, you have your period, you're fertile, everything like you can click on skin and it'll tell you the background information as to why you're breaking out, um, why you're feeling sad, why you're losing weight, why you're gaining weight. I feel like it's super important to be aware and to be knowledgeable on your body so let me know if you try the app, I will have a link down below. So let's get on with the products. Since we're talking about on flow and that time of the month, I wanted to bring up what to use down there. Last time I filmed this video, I think I mentioned that I was using Lemisol, which is like a Latina must have. It's like this green bottle and it's a feminine wash. Um, I no longer use that. I know some people were commenting that it burns. It never burned me, but I felt like it was just a little too harsh. I now just use like a white dove soap. This is such a controversial topic. Some people say just use water, some people use lemmy soul, some people use crazy things like crazy contraptions and things, but me personally, I just use a white bar of unscented dove soap. Your vagina is self-cleansing, so you never want to insert product inside. After that time of the month, if I'm not feeling as fresh and like the white dove soap isn't really doing it for me, I use this Vagisil pH Balance uh, Intimate Wash and it's 
gynecologist tested, clinically proven for sensitive skin. I have very sensitive skin. I don't think everyone should just run out and get this. This is just what works for me. It doesn't mess up my pH balance. Obviously, it's for pH balance, but I feel like it doesn't harm me. It doesn't affect it, but it does make me feel a lot fresher. So that's why I use this. And I, again, only use it like once in a while sparingly if I just feel like I need a little more cleansing. So that's pretty much it for down there, white of soap and then occasionally this Vagisil. If you watch my older videos, you'd know that I used to always use the Victoria's Secret and the Bath & Body Works shower gels. I don't really use those anymore. I switched to the Soap & Glory Clean On Me shower gel. Now I have a lot of Soap & Glory products. This is not sponsored by Soap & Glory. If you watch my older videos, you would know that I love Soap & Glory. Like, I'm an OG Soap & Glory fan. Um, but the shower gel, the creamy shower gel is amazing. I can't really describe the Soap & Glory scent, but if you've smelled it, you know how good it is. It's very clean, very fresh, and very feminine. I love this shower gel because it just makes me feel squeaky, squeaky clean. I am obsessed with this shower gel, and I always, always, always feel refreshed after using it. If I'm not using that one, I'll switch between that one and this one. This is the Caress Love Forever Long Lasting Unforgettable Fragrance released on touch shower gel this has a 12 hour fragrance release and I mainly use this for the scent I do have the other one which is adore forever but this one's love forever I am in love with this smell if you're ever in the drugstore please smell this they have this one and then the other one adore forever I kind of like this one better but it smells so good and it's that type of scent that just makes you feel so sexy like owning it um, and I just feel like I love to feel like that like especially in the shower I love just invigorating smells caress kills the scents. I love caress body washes um, I still use like the other types but these the 12 hour fragrance ones really get me because the scent actually lasts on your skin um, I don't smell it when I get out of the shower but other people when they hug me or they smell me they always compliment me sometimes like scented shower gels are a little drying but the caress ones aren't at all Next, I want to talk about two body scrubs, and what do you know it? They're both by Soap & Glory. Um, this one is called Flake Away, and this has shea butter, sugar, and peach seed. So it's basically like a body polish, and it's in the form of this tub. I'm basically done with this one. I love this because it polishes my skin, but it doesn't over dry it. It's very, very, like, grainy, but it's not harsh. I have extremely sensitive skin. Like, I bruise easily, I get marked up easily, I'm just super sensitive. So, for me to like an exfoliator says a lot. Um, I still love the Treat Hut ones, but I just prefer this one so much better. It really just polishes my skin, makes me feel very exfoliated. If you're fake tanning, you definitely need to get an exfoliator. And I really like this one because it's not too, too harsh on my skin. And then this one is called The Scrub of Your Life, also by Soap & Glory. And this one's a bit more extreme, but this one's a body buffer. And it says, you'll know it's the one. Like, you literally will feel a difference when you use this one. Again, this one's called The Scrub of Your Life. I love both of these, but this one I like on, like, my knees, my elbows, my chest area, anywhere where I want to be, like, extra exfoliated. Again, this one does not irritate my skin. And... They all have like an amazing scent. It's that Soap & Glory Fresh Clean Scent. Again, I'm not sponsored. I just really love these products. I'm very passionate about my body washes and scrubs, as you can tell. For shaving, I'm all about the Venus Razors. This one I'm currently using is the Venus Embrace. And then for shaving cream, I use the EOS Shave Cream. With this, I get a really nice, smooth, even shave. I never feel like cut or nicked unless I went a little too hard. But I love this shaving cream. You can use it wet or dry, but I use it wet in the shower and this one is in the pomegranate raspberry scent so I love this because it's super moisturizing and this because it gets me a nice clean shave but it doesn't irritate my skin I've tried the intuition I've tried so many razors I do like men's razors but I don't know I just I don't feel comfortable like buying them not that I don't feel comfortable but I just always just tend to go for the Venus Embrace but I do want to try using more men's razors because Every time I talk about razors, you guys are like, you need to get on a men's razor flow. Okay, Rose? And I'm going to do it. Next time I buy a razor, I'll buy a men's razor. Because I know you guys are going to tell me about that. <laughs> Speaking of hygiene, I feel like obviously washing your hands is so important. Everyone knows that. You have to wash your hands a lot. I feel like using a really nicely scented soap just makes you want to wash your hands so much more. As you guys know, I do freelance makeup. And so I feel like it's very important for my hands to smell good. And just my whole body, obviously. But since I am constantly washing my hands... I love the Bath & Body Works gentle foaming ones because they don't dry them out and they kind of leave them moisturized and they smell so good like my hands literally smell like the soap for so long so 
I love Bath & Body Works hand soaps. I know that's kind of random, but since we're speaking of like washing, I felt like I would mention that. And once I'm out of the shower, it's time to moisturize. And again, Soap & Glory, I either use the Righteous Body Butter Lotion or the Righteous butter so depending on how dry I am like in the summertime I mainly use this one which is their lotion um, and it has a smooth boost 24 hour it has shea butter almond oil aloe vera glycerin I like this one because it's very lightweight and it's still moisturizing again the scent is to die for like I love the scent but the one that I mainly use is this one which is the righteous butter um, it's just like a tub filled with this body butter and I am like a crocodile, especially in the winter. I have very dry skin, especially with tanning and just like sometimes being lazy. Sometimes I skip on lotion. My legs get so dry, like almost flaky, girl. This body butter is amazing for dry skin. Even if you don't have dry skin, you know, you want to look moisturized. You want to be moisturized. So I love this because it just soaks right into the skin and I instantly feel hydrated. So I love this. I know everyone on YouTube talks about it, but I do personally use it. I've been using it for like forever. This next product I've also been using like for ages. Not this exact one, but I've been using this for ages. The Heal Genius by Soap & Glory. It's a foot cream. I love slapping this on. Like I literally put so much in my hand, put it on my foot. It has like a minty cooling feeling. It smells really good too, like menthol, but still like Soap & Glory. Put on some socks in the morning. My feet are just so much better. They're in way better condition. Um, I got like a really messed up pedicure one time, so my feet aren't baby soft smooth anymore, even with this, but this definitely helps. If you use this every single day, you will have guaranteed baby feet, but I'm just a little lazy, so I use that when I'm like, girl, you need to put some foot lotion. But it always comes to the rescue. It always helps me out. This next product I've been using for about, I guess, over a month, but I still have like the full bottle. This is the number 7 Pampering Dry Oil Body Spray. It leaves skin silky smooth and simply irresistible. This is a hypoallergenic body spray. So when I'm too lazy to apply lotion, which happens, sometimes I get to shower and I'm just like, oh, I have to put on all my lotions. And if I don't feel like it, I just spray my whole body with this. And I still have a lot. It's like an oil water spray. It doesn't leave me oily, which I love. And I also love that it smells like baby. I typically don't like the smell of baby powder, but this just smells like baby. So as you can see, it just sprays like that and then you just kind of like rub it in. And it just leaves you so silky soft, but it doesn't feel oily. Like my hand doesn't feel oily, but as you can see, it has like a nice sheen. I love this because it instantly just soaks into your skin and it smells divine. You know when you just want to like squish a baby so hard because it, okay, that sounds horrible. <laughs> Those squish babies. <laughs> this has a really nice scent. A little bit like baby powder, but just like baby skin. It smells amazing. So I love that. And you can find this at Dwayne Reed. That's why I get it here in New York. And then for deodorant, I switch between these two. This is the Degree Dry Spray in Shower Clean or their Solid in Shower Clean. This is the deodorant that I've been using for like forever. I don't switch out of this scent. Shower Clean is a scent. It's amazing. My best friend used the spray deodorant one time in this scent shower clean and she's hooked. Like she always buys the spray and she always gets the scent shower clean. I love this deodorant. It's the only deodorant that doesn't like make me smell odd because sometimes I use deodorants and they smell really good and it just smells bad. Like if I don't wear deodorant, it won't smell bad. But with that deodorant, it stinks. I don't know. That's like so weird, but some deodorants just don't bring out the right juices the right like body chemistry this doesn't mix so I just stick to that one because it's the only one that really like works for me this isn't really like hygiene but I guess it kind of is it's like body care um, I mentioned that my lips are always cracked and always peeling and dry one of you guys actually told me about this and I've been using it and I really really like it it's gonna sound really weird but this is the lanoline nipple protector or nipple balm <laughs> it's for mothers who have cracked nipples um it's 100 percent natural and preservative free i know this sounds really weird nipple cream for your lips it basically just looks like vaseline it's a lot thicker than vaseline but way more effective my lips drink this up like my lips have been way better i actually feel like i can wear liquid lipsticks now so if you're like suffering from cracked lips and nothing's working try that out i promise you i've tried so many products nothing has worked as quick as that and i got that at walmart in the mommy section. I just noticed it smells like cookies. Yum. Shit. Ow! It just freaking hurt my toe. 
Oh! Oh, my toe's so hard. <sighs> Thumbs up this video if you'd like to see an updated perfume collection. I will definitely get that up for you guys. And if you would like to see a tutorial on this look. Before I go, just want to mention that this little vest is from Target. I think it's the brand Mosimo, but I'll leave it down below. If I can find it, I'll link it. This white top is just from, I think, H&M. I'll also try to find a link to this necklace. Bobble Bar used to have one like this, but I got this one on Holt Look. And then this little guy is from H&M. That concludes my hygiene routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading my 200K giveaway tomorrow. So make sure to be subscribed and follow me on Instagram. Since I didn't do a holiday giveaway or a 200K giveaway yet, I kind of just combined them. So it's a lot of products. So I'm so excited to give those to you guys. And yeah, thank you for supporting me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. That was a bad kiss. Bye, guys.